I was just six when I saw him drawing this work of art. I remember on the day that Christie's were going to come and value it. I had it on the floor and I cried. I said goodbye to it. Today is the day that the work of art of Walter Spies is going to auction in Hong Kong. Yes, that's me. I was born in Java, in Jakarta, and spent the first 10 years of my life there. My father was a musician, but my father was never really close to any of his children. It was very much in the culture in those days that fathers don't have much to do with children. That's, that's Walter and I in the car, and he's got his arms around me. He was the light of my life. I used to call him main mum. That's my man. Or in Dutch, it's like husband, you know. And uh, so I must have said this because I always felt so close to him and my father was not that close and uh, because he was my, the man in my life. And he called me his claim of Roger, which means little wife. Because I was his little wife, which was so outrageous. <laughs> I suppose. Well, of course, I didn't know until many years later he was gay. Walter Spies came to Jogja in 1923, a month after I was born. He was a, a pianist, artist. At that period, it was sort of a cultural centre in Java. Both Walter and my father worked for the Sultan. They conducted the Western Orchestra. 1925, 26, Walter um, went to Bali. He fell in love with Bali. It was entirely a world different to Java. Java was structural, Muslim, whereas Bali was Hindu, animistic. And he started to paint. Painting everyday life. Not the gods and or all that. It was the fields, the buffalo and going to market. He attracted the attention of artists that were living there at the time. I remember going on the boat to Bali to visit Walter. Memories of us traveling miles and miles. We'd go to a village, say, and uh, underneath in the banyan trees and the palm trees. These concerts and plays would go on for days. I remember falling asleep with hearing the gamelan music. I don't know whether my memory is um, 
whether it's real or whether it's a dream. But I remember him doing the leg. I would have been on his lap or I would have been very close to him. And I remember the pencil marks. When we left Java, Walter gave this painting to my family. We moved back to Australia in 1932. I would have been nine. Going back and... And the memory is uh, very tiring, very, uh, very rewarding too. So I divide my life in decades. Oh, that was the 20s. Oh, that's the 30s. That's what happened then. And then the 40s. Forty-nine, I was married, 1949. I fell in love with his looks. I think um, his name, Ron Corelli. <laughs> I was Karina Corelli. <laughs> Thirty-three years of marriage with three children. Nineteen seventy-six was the most extraordinary year. Uh, my father died. I started meditating. I think it was through my meditation that I knew that I was going to leave Ron. I didn't know when. I had no idea and I thought, this has got to end. I wanted to be free of, of restrictions. I wanted to be free from feeling unhappy and dissatisfied. I had a car and I had everything all packed up and ready to go. I'm going. And it was like a dream. It was like setting a bird free. Before I die, I would like the sale of the painting to be completed because I didn't want to leave it to my children. It might end up under the house and it wouldn't be appreciated. I wanted the world to know I had this work of art. I mean, to me, it's worth a million. A million is nothing. When you look at it, yes, it's so. I mean, I'm used to it being here on yes. the wall. Yes, so am I. And uh, you saw a lot of your life then. I guess. Yes. Yes. Five horses, please. And I have a hundred thousand, one hundred thousand, one hundred thousand, one hundred thousand. Please me, one hundred thousand against you all. If I sell it and get some money. I'd like to 
give something to my children, keep some for myself, and go back to Bali. I'm hoping that by six o'clock or four o'clock their time, that we might get a telephone call. Change rate twenty nine thousand eight hundred and twenty four dollars and fifty six cents. <laughs> oh, yes, oh no, you. it's so here. You Frau Gotch, 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 to live to be a hundred. <laughs> if I stop smoking <laughs> and drinking, <laughs> if I only have fun <laughs> and you have to laugh. <laughs> 